Welcome to Jatai Academy. Today we are going to do a throwback to my uncle Raleigh. He loved a righteous pompadour. That's what we're going to do today. Let's get started. All right, so to get started, I'm going to take a parting from the center of the recession straight back to the quarter part, from the quarter part down to the occipital bone, and we're going to do that on both sides. So that splits the top of the head from the bottom of the head. Now here on the bottom, I'm going to go through and taper this, graduate it, so it's going to be shorter around the hairline and gradually get longer as it goes to the top of the parting. And we're going to start here on the sides and take parallel sections all the way back into the center and then the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to start here on the side, take a, a small parting parallel to the front hairline. Now these, these doll heads have a kind of a funky hairline around the front, but most hairline is going to be at a slight angle going forward. So that's the parting I'm going to take. We're going to hold that out, make sure everything is evenly wet, because I'm going to cut this with the razor, because the razor is going to keep it really soft and allow me to go from pretty short over the ear to really long on top really quickly, and it's still going to be seamless. Longer at the top. And then slowly take that shorter as I get to the hairline at the bottom. Next piece parallel to that first section. Comb those to the center of both of those sections. Hold out, angle my fingers from long Take my time to short. Pin that out of the way. Now I got the third section. I'm going to take the second section and the third section, comb those together, pull straight out, angle my fingers, get them out of the way. There's my guide and follow the previously cut hair. So I'm basically walking my guide all the way to the center of the back. Now this section I go all the way down into the nape and keep my partings parallel. Now I'll just continue this line all the way down. Previously cut section, this one holds straight out. There's my guide. Get the motor running, get the razor running first, and then work down as I'm getting tighter as I go down into the nape. Okay, now from here, I want to taper this in a little tighter around the edges, but my fingers can't get that close with the razor, so I'm going to go through and scissor over comb that bottom just to keep that a little tighter over the edges. Now after I do that, I'm going to use my thinning scissors and soften that texture up around the edges. Now that I got the sides and the back done, and it's the same on both sides, or as close as I can get it, I'm going to take from the crown 
and separate that to the high point of the hairline over the ear. That's going to be my quarter part to separate the front of the head from the back of the head. Now I'm going to start in the middle, take a parallel section, hold that out, and at whatever this graduation angle was, I'm going to continue that up and out. So I leave length right here, which is going to be the longest part of the crown. So I'm going to pull this section out from the head vertically. I'm going to take the whole thing and I'm going to visualize whatever that angle of graduation is. You notice I'm holding it at that elevation. And I'm going to visualize whatever that angle of graduation is. Get the motor started and cut that down into my previous guide length underneath. Follow us on social media at Jatai Feather. Clean up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm using a razor as long as, long as I get the texture right and I don't cut it too short, we're going to be fine. So now that I got the center done, I'm going to pivot this around to the left and pivot this around to the right. There's my guide I'm going from. There's the length I'm going to. Blend that down and through. If I need to clean it up, clean it up a little bit. I just want to make sure that when I'm looking at the back of the head, everything blends in the side and my length underneath, and I leave some length here in the crown. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now after I've got the crown done, to double check it and make sure everything fits in tight like I want, I'm gonna go through and clean everything up with my thinning scissors. So I'll go through and take a parallel parting right across the same as my quarter part. I'll pull that up and go through and just texturize the ends and change the shape as I see fit if I need to. So that looked fairly decent. Let's try the next one. Okay, that looks pretty good through there. This side's a little longer. So I will go through, hit it with the thinning scissors numerous times until I start to remove that length and make it more balanced with the other side. I can also hold it out this way to make sure I have the line proper, just to make sure that my line has good graduation to it. If something is fitting out, like we got a little fat spot there. Since it's so short, it's hard for me to clean up with my razor. It's easy for me to go through with the thinning scissor and mimic the same sort of texture that I would get with a razor, but it gives me a little bit more control. I'm going to take a mohawk section straight down the middle. Now from here, I'm going to take this first piece, see how long I want it. And I'm gonna judge that based upon where it's gonna hit in the nose. So I want it to kind of be fairly long. So I'm gonna go at least to the nose and then work my way into the back and blend that through. Hold that section up, see where it falls, come through, cut that up and through, looks good. Now continue to taper that line in to the shorter hair and the crown. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we have a new video, and also leave a comment and let us know what you think and what you'd like to see in the future. So we've got long tapering into short. After I do that, I will take a parallel section on one side of the head, the same width as the center section, all the way back down and through. I will then combine section two and section one into the center and cut that directly above both of those partings combined. There's my guide. Cut 
cut anything that hangs over my center guide. Now at this point, I will remove the center section and add my third section, which should be all the rest of the sides. Combine those two together into the center of both of those partings. Hold up, anything hangs over, cut it off. Now at this point, I feel like there's too much hair hanging over the sides. So what I wanna do is take a little bit of this hair off that's hanging over so it's not so extreme. So I will go through and take a parallel section to my previous section that I took and start whittling some of that hair off. And the way I'll do that is by holding this out and blending from my short piece here at the quarter part and gradually getting longer towards the front, just like I did on the top, but now I'm doing it to the sides to make sure I don't have anything that hangs over too far. Taking a pretty broad stroke, because I don't want a really clean line, I just want to start creating more texture and removing some of the length. Check that out, see how that's looking. I think that's looking better. So using that as our guide, I will continue the top. As I start working into the top length, I should have less and less and less hair that reaches to my side, uh, this overhang here. Because I already held everything straight up and cut it. So this is just more or less making sure the sides blend like I want. Last section. Nothing. Oh, nothing. We're good. We're good. Yeah, I like that better. I think that blends better. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we're finished with our basic shape here. I, I like the overall look of it. We got a little bit of length on the sides, tapering down to a nice clean crop nape. Uh, shorter in the crown, gradually getting longer here in the front. So we're gonna put some texture spray into it to give it a little bit of oomph and we're gonna blow it dry and pop it up. All right, here is our end result, and uh, this is an homage to my Uncle Raleigh, and he loved big pompadours, and the bigger it was, the better it was. And uh, so we used that as inspiration today. We started taking it cleaner on the sides and the back. He never had it clippered real short, but you could certainly do that with this. Just the angle of uh, graduation would be a little more extreme, which works perfectly fine. Shorter in the back, getting longer towards the front, and then just blown dry around the front so we get that nice kind of coming forward shape as it goes to the back. And uh, you know, I think it looks pretty good. Could probably do a little cleaning up around the edges, but these mannequin heads, they kind of stick straight anyway. But there we go. Uh, any questions, any comments that you have, post that below. And uh, please check out the Academy. There's all kinds of great stuff on there. Uh, give us a thumbs up and a like, and be sure to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for checking it out.